Hi friends, I am back with another thread up box, DIY rescue box unboxing. I ordered two different boxes. I ordered the rescue shoe box. It costs a hundred dollars and it comes with 15 pairs of shoes. And I bought the men's rescue box. And I don't remember the price of that one. Sorry. Uh, I got an email saying that my shoe box had already shipped. And then this box got here on Saturday and it's been sitting in my living room. Today is Tuesday <clears throat> because I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I don't know if this is the shoe box though because it doesn't feel like shoes. So I guess when we bust it open, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna just tilt you guys down, let you get a little view of what's going on down here. Here's the box, here we go. I'm going to very carefully open this up and then I'll tilt you guys back up. But I just want you to have kind of a first glance to see what is in here. Okay. Oh, okay. So here we have, it is the men's clothing. So even though it said the, the, the uh, shoe box was the one that got shipped, it's actually the men's clothing. And this one was $110. And it is, I think it should be something like 25 pounds. So here's the receipt here. <clears throat> and yeah, that's all that's in there. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to let you guys see. Lots of new clothes. And I see a new tag item right on top. So that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to tilt you guys back up. Also, <laughs> sorry guys. For those who are new here, my name is Jaina. This is Stripes and Twine, and I am a part-time reseller, which means I sell items on resale websites, consignment types sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. That's how I make some extra income to bring to my family. So, like I said, this one was the men's rescue box from ThreadUp. I'm standing up behind my desk, and I've got this propped up on my desk because I'm gonna kind of like be tossing things back here as I go. And sorry about this crazy mess of a hair. I have no idea what's going on with my hair today. Let's jump in. Okay, so the very first thing we saw, these were those Banana Republic new with tags. These are a size 3430 and they are in excellent condition. Brand new. They are called the Rapid Movement Chino. These might fit my husband. That was kind of one of the motivational reasons to get, go ahead and get this box is because I've heard a lot of great things about it. If you follow um, Becky Park on Poshmark, she's done a few of these men's boxes unboxings before and they are hit or miss. So there could be amazing things in here and there could be total duds. And sometimes there are women's items in here too that they accidentally throw in. So, okay, starting off with the new with tags, Banana Republic men's chinos. I'm gonna put a little pile over there for my husband to try on. Okay, next we have a Frank and Oak. I've never heard of this brand, but it looks like a nice, just casual button up. It does have a linen feel to it. I don't think it's linen. Here is the tag there. And is this men's or women's? I think this is women's. Isn't it like, if the buttons are on the right or left. Now I'm totally confused. What side do the buttons need to be on for it to be women's? To distinguish between men's and women's. Okay, it doesn't have a size. I'm not seeing a size anywhere. It just says Frank and Oak. And I will have to look this one up. So the little size tag does have a couple of extra buttons. It has a style number, but yeah, no size tag. So that one will have to have some measurements done. I'll do some research. I think it's men's. It does have the button down. So I'm gonna put that there. Next we have a Lacoste. And this is a nice little classic pattern plaid. This is a size 42. It's a regular fit. So I don't know, I'm not really sure how much most of these men's items go for. I don't do a whole lot of men's items, so I thought this would be fun to kind of get out of my rut and my normal clothing uh, 
hauls and all of that. So yeah, Lacoste shirt, I think probably like 25. Am I shooting too high for that? We'll see, maybe I'm shooting too high. I don't know, this one's all rolled up. So most of these items, I'll, sh I'll tilt you guys down. They're kind of like rolled up in here. So it's not like they're, you know, individually wrapped up in tissue paper, but they are nicely rolled. So I do appreciate that at least. Tilt you guys back up again. Okay, so this one, as I enroll it, is another button up. This is DC and it's in okay condition. It doesn't have any kind of wear issues that I'm seeing right off of the bat. So for those of you who aren't really familiar with these rescue boxes, I believe that they either take items that have been sitting past their sale time frame, and if they haven't been reclaimed, they will throw these in these rescue boxes. Also, I've heard that they are typically items that ThreadUp didn't want to take in the first place. For instance, these kinds of items. ThreadUp doesn't take men's items, and so I think a lot of people just throw men's items in with their clothes to get processed through ThreadUp, and then because they don't take men's items, they immediately save them all for these rescue boxes. So this is DC, again, this is an extra large. It's okay, it's not super exciting or anything. Maybe I can list it for about 15. I'll run comps on all these items, but so far we've got three button downs, one Banana Republic new with tags, chino pants. Okay, here's another rolled up item. This one is Uniqlo, a size medium. And yeah, nothing super special about this. Maybe again, 10 or 15, list that one for. This is the Uniqlo tag. Uniqlo is kind of like a Forever 21 H&M type of a clothing store. I think it's out of Asia, I'm not exactly sure where. Okay, so we're really, we're really hitting the button down shirt mark. Okay, here's another, this is great. This is new with tags, it's still even wrapped up. It's got like, I'm not gonna undo this shirt because it still has all the original wrapping on it. So Banana Republic Tech Stretch Cotton Shirt. This must have been an online purchase because it doesn't have a price on it. But yeah, that's nice. It's like a whole little Banana Republic outfit over there. Okay, oh, this is cool. Okay, very <laughs> bright yellow. This is great, you guys. This is a polo. I can already tell it's got the number on the side. It's got the nice big polo logo. And this is a polo by Ralph Lauren. It's got a dryer tag on it, trying to remove it without damaging the shirt. But this one is a size extra, extra large, nice and bright. So yeah, probably off the top of my head, like 40, 40 or 50. I don't know. Tell me below, what do you think? Just, what do you think these go for? Because I'm just thinking 40 or 50. I'm not seeing really any like issues with it. Uh, there's a little bit of staining here. I don't know if you can see, kind of like really faint, almost like a dye bleed there, but I'm not seeing any other major, well, there's a little bit of like, I don't know if that's dirt or if it's also dye bleed. So I'll have to look at that closer, but cool. All right. Again, I paid 120, 110, I paid $110 for this box. And so far I feel like, I feel like <laughs> I'll at least make my money back is what I feel like right now. Okay. So we have another new with tags shirt, men's shirt. This one's J crew. This one is a size 15 and a half or 34. This has a price tag of $69 on it. And it is the Ludlow style. So this is J. Crew Ludlow, but that's great too. So maybe 30, price that for 30. Take reasonable offers. Okay, we got more pants. These are the Banana Republic Mason Athletic Tapered Fit, size 30, 30. A really classic pair of chino pants. Again, I think I'm gonna have my husband try these on. They are not the Banana Republic outlet. They are Banana Republic, the main store. There's the tag. 
so nice. And I think the difference in buying this men's box compared to like a DIY denim rescue box is those tend to have flaws and that's why they've been boxed up to be shipped out with these um, DIY boxes because they're essentially DIY. With these men's clothes, they don't usually have a whole lot of flaws or issues that I've noticed in videos. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you won't get some. And I'm sure I'm gonna have some in here too, but so far not a whole lot of flaws or anything and a lot of new attacks so far. Three new attack. Okay, so a men's J. Crew. This says LT, large tall. And it's this nice solid purple. Has a really very faint, subtle striping to it. I wouldn't even call it a striping, more of just like a heathered. And there is J. Crew. And then this one looks good I'm not seeing any stains or anything i just wanted to see the date so this one is summer of 2014. so not super new but maybe like 15 15 for that another new with tags i just wonder if these are all like from the same person so when thread up got them in they just threw them all in this bag together at the same time <laughs> i would be surprised if that was the case so another 15 and a half this looks like the same pattern almost Okay, it's like almost the same. Look at that. This one has like, no, they're exactly the same. All right, sweet. That actually makes it really easy for listing, especially on eBay because I have two of the same. Okay, I had to take a little hair break because it was driving me insane. <laughs> okay, so this one is the exact same shirt. That makes it very convenient to list. They are the same size, the same shirt, the same pattern. Uh, Awesome. Okay. I like that. I like that I got two of the exact same and they're both new attacks. Next, I have this rolled up hair. And I am seeing some fraying or something on the back. Oh, it just looks like the, the pocket. These are American Eagle. These are just another like classic chino pants twill. They are a size 29.32. And these are from 2011. So these are 10 years old. I'm not sure how well they do. They do look pretty straight leg. I don't know if that's really in style right now for men. I'm assuming not. So I don't know. Maybe if I list these, maybe $10 I'll list them for. 10, 15. Shoot for something like that. This one is another J. Crew. This is a large tall again. It has that little thick linen feel to it, so it might be like a cotton blend. And sorry, this has like a dry the dry cleaning tag and someone's name written right there. But this one is 100% cotton, spring 2013. So it's that thicker cotton, but it definitely has like a linen feel to it. So I'm surprised it wasn't linen but not a bad color, kind of like a minty green. Go along with that purple shirt. Here's an Old Navy, new with tags, not exciting. It originally retailed for $14.99, just a striped V-neck men's t-shirt, size extra large, soft washed. A Russell training fit, new with tags. I don't know how much these go for. Maybe I can list it for about 15 because it is new with tags. Doesn't have the original price, but it was a size, it is a size 2XL. So again, I don't know, maybe 15 because it's new with tags. This is a navy blue J. Crew. This is vintage J. Crew. <laughs> Large, tall. It's either vintage or it's like one of those uh, vintage retro looking tags, but that is a really kind of a thick canvasy navy blue washed. Uh, see that tag? So, what are your guesses? Is it vintage? Is it just a retro tag? We are about to find out. It is a retro tag, it is from fall of 2014. So, 
cool. I like the feel to it. Yeah, my husband tried that one on. Okay, I'm seeing some shoes down in the bottom, which I don't think I've ever seen like men's shoes in these boxes before. So this is Ben Sherman. This is, I think I've seen these at Nordstrom Rack. So this is a men's short sleeve button up. Casual plaid size, extra large. There is the Ben Sherman tag and then the little extra large keeps just twisting back up there. But just an easy casual shirt, maybe 15. Okay, I think I've definitely hit making my money back. So we'll see. Classic, these are a lot of large tall in here. So again, I think they took one person's items and threw them in the box. Um, J. Crew, all cotton Oxford, large, tall, yellow, classic fit. I don't think classic fit is really that in. I think more of the slim fit style is in, but maybe I can squeeze, I don't know, $12 out of that. These are all just off the top of my head. I have no idea. I've done no research. <laughs> And I'll do a lot of looking into this when I start doing comps to price these. This one is Tommy Hilfiger. This is another button up. We are really like hitting all the buttons ups in this box. The sleeves look a little short, so I wonder if this is like a sized. Um, 16 to 16 and a half, size 32, 33 large. Did I say that this was Tommy Hilfiger? And just a classic blue button up. Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, nothing like exciting, but that's okay. Uh, George, this is new with tags, but this is just a Walmart brand. So if it fits my husband, maybe he can just sleep in it because that is definitely going to get donated. Not worth the time to list it, take photographs and all that. Red cap. I feel like I've heard of red cap before, um, but I don't know what it is. A button up gray shirt. So I'm confused about the sizing because it says 185-33. So I don't know if that's like European sizing. I have no idea. So I'll show you guys this tag. Let me know below. Do you guys know? what any of this means. You see this? I have no idea. It almost has like a vintage looking tag to it, but I don't know if that's just because, again, it's like a retro inspired tag or if it is truly vintage. I'm leaning more towards truly vintage, but I'll look it up. I'll do some research. It has like a, like a thick, uh, canvasy cotton feel to it. Okay. We are <laughs> about halfway through. Okay. We are about halfway through. As you can see, there's some shoes in there and I see some pants. I see a coat. So let's see. Let's see what else we got. We have this shirt is another Banana Republic. This one's a size large, 16, 16 and a half, 34, 35. And it has this really subtle, kind of like triangle dot print. You can see there, and then there's the tag. So yeah, again, probably list that for about 15. These like men's button ups don't usually sell very well for me. My husband just went through his whole entire closet and has a giant pile of men's button ups. And I'm dreading going through those and trying to list them because they just don't sell very quickly. They don't do too well, but if I can squeeze something out of them, that would be great. I've got like dust too from this, from this box. I don't know what it is because I'm not allergic to any of the material. I don't think, but anyway, okay. This one's Adidas. This is kind of cool. It's like a North Carolina, um, Jersey. I don't know if this is for like a school or anything, or if it's like a private school or what, but it just says North Carolina FC. I have no idea. It's a size medium. But okay. Not sure what to do with that. I'll have to look it up. Some men's jeans. These don't look like they're in the best condition. They are Arizona. 
so I'll probably just throw these in a box to take to like Uptown Cheapskate, see if maybe they want them. Check all the pockets. Because <laughs> you never know. But yeah, I'm not going to waste my time listing those, but they will probably go into like Uptown Cheapskate. Plato's Closet box. These feel like Levi's and they are not. They're Wrangler, but they are new with tags and I have sold new with tag Wranglers that I've gotten in a palette before for about $15. So I'm not really that mad about these, <laughs> about Wranglers. They're kind of like a straight, oh, they're a relaxed fit, size 32, 34. And the last ones I sold on eBay, I think were for 15. So I'll take new with tags. Hopefully that'll be a quick sale. We're gonna get to the shoes. So these are Converse. These are like brand new. They have no wear. These are a size men's 10. And I'm talking like just a few scuffs on the front, you can see here. But the shoes themselves look amazing. There's no wear to the back. So awesome, yeah, I'll take these for sure. I list those around 35. I'll definitely take shoes. Yes, please. Okay, this is a new and tags. This one is Goodfellow. This is, I believe, Target brand. This looks like a kid's shirt. Um, nope, it's a men's small standard. Nice flannel feel to it. Uh, probably 15 on Poshmark. I mean, I know it's Target brand and it probably sold originally for around 15 after like sales and stuff. So the original price is $24.99. So yeah, I feel like maybe about 15. It's my little new with tags pile in the corner. Okay. Gustin. I don't think I've ever heard of the brand Gustin. I don't think. So a classic chambray men's button up size large, tall. Again, must be the same guy that donated all of those J. Crew tall. 100% cotton, made in the USA. I mean, this one just feels really nice, so I'll definitely look up to see if this brand goes for anything higher than those J. Crew ones, but maybe I'll have my husband try that one on. I'm kind of saving this coat for last because I really want it to be good. <laughs> and I think that's the last thing in here. Yeah, I'm gonna save it for last. Okay, so we have a uh, Gap Standard, size 30. 334 men's like kind of a wide leggish jean i mean these aren't new definitely aren't you know probably older than 10 years and they're pretty worn maybe they'd make good shorts vintage wash yeah 2010 2010 you can see right here so i don't know Maybe they make good shorts. Maybe my husband can turn them into cutoffs. We'll see. And then last but not least, the coat. What do you guys think it is? What brand? What brand could it be? It is Shut Up. It's Patagonia. Stop it. Oh, this just made the whole box. Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Okay. So this is Patagonia. This is a men's large. I can't show this one. My husband is going to steal it. Holy cow. That is so nice. It is in like amazing condition. I am dying over here. I cannot believe this. They really saved the best for last. <laughs> they put the best thing in the very bottom of the box. Oh, you guys, I'm just so happy now. Okay, so for sure, making my money back, I'll probably list this one for, I don't know, off the top of my head, I'm thinking 150, because it is like a puffer. It might, I don't know if it's anything like particularly special. Oh, it's so like squishy and soft. It's not the best time to be listing Patagonia puffers, but like, no problems, no issues, nothing. I'm seeing nothing. I'm not seeing any stains. I mean, this looks like it looks like it's hardly been worn. I just feel like putting it on. <laughs> it's just so cozy. 
Okay, I'm done. Check the pockets. That's so great. Okay, very happy. Very happy with what I got in this box. Okay, we're gonna do a quick count. So we've got Patagonia. Man, I'm just still so happy about that. Patagonia men's puffer. Pair of Converse shoes. Some shirts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Some more new with tags. Oh wait, those aren't the new with tags. Some more, so we've got 14, 15, 16, including the polo yellow hoodie. 16, 16. stack for my husband to try on, which has the new with tags pants, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and then last, the new with tag items, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, including the Arizona jeans that are just gonna go straight into a box for buy, sell, trade. 30 items, $110, Divided by 30 is what? Like 340 a piece? Is that right? I'm not doing math right now. Very happy. Definitely happy. This is great. So have you guys done a thread up DIY rescue box? This is the first time I've done a men's box and I am very happy. I would definitely do this again. Kind of gets me out of my shell of like women's clothes and some hard goods. And it was just kind of fun. And now I get to research some brands I've never heard of. And now my husband's got a little stack of clothes that he gets to go through. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a fairly new channel and I'm just trying to get the ball rolling here and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day and go out and find some good thrift finds. Bye.